somebody please cue that void? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping out crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter, uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going in the battle with the bad Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Quiet, everybody! Emperor Fred has an announcement! For Fred! That's it? Okay, he may not be very regal, but he's cool. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to this gentle monarch, back at headquarters, Big Cheese is hatching another scheme to reduce the social order to chaos! Yoo-hoo, big owl, you got a minute? I have something very interesting to show you. What? Michelle Pfeiffer's home phone number? Oh, besides what she got that I ain't got. <laughs> Good likeness, huh? I see. Is that a yam or a sweet potato the Emperor is holding? Ah, oh, are you sure that's our Emperor? Of course. I just didn't know he liked gardening. I got news for you. It's not Fred, but an incredible look-alike. Yeah! Well, I must say I'm delighted to see you receive this dispatch with your usual aplomb and statesman-like dignity. We could keep this quiet. If this information fell into the wrong hands, the social order could be reduced to chaos. We'd all be out of a job. Hmm. Of course, my dear colleague, not a word about that delightful development shall pass my lips. Not a breath. Six million copies of the bulletin should help you find him. And once he's installed as emperor, I shall bend him to my will. As chancellor, I'll be the power behind the throne. Later, you can arrest the imposter and move the throne back a couple of feet. Very good. Have you thought of a way to distribute this missive for me? Do rodents like rope for... Mm. How dare uh, Hiya, hiya, hiya! How you doing, guys? Nice to see you. What's cooking? Hiya, hiya, hiya! Nice day, huh? What? That maniac yard bird is your idea of a delivery boy? Trust me! He's the fastest thing on two legs! He'll carpet the countryside with your bulletins in no time! Well, look, nice chat with you. I gotta go jogging. See you around. Bye, bye, bye! that last part again. A nationwide search is now underway to establish the identity of the true emperor. Since when was there any question that Fred was the true emperor? Anyone knowing the whereabouts of this person should report to the big cheese. Golly, this could reduce the social order to chaos. Are you alone? I mean, other than yourselves? Hi, Mr. Dante. What brings... It's important that no one know I came here. I need you to perform a task for me. What's up? This. Once again, Big Cheese is trying to upset the balance of power. If he succeeds, the social order can be reduced to chaos. I need your help to prove that Fred is the true emperor. Hey, wait a minute. I got a date with Lucille. And you come in and expect me to just... Thank you. Uh, on second thought, I'm sure she'll understand that something came up. Big Al, we place ourselves at your disposal. Thank you. There's a nanny who may be able to identify the Emperor having served him as a child. But where will we find this former humble servant to the infant monarch? My records indicate she runs a small but prosperous souvenir shop near the base of Mount St. Helens. Amassed a small fortune in volcanic ash. But how will we recognize her? By the flock of evil crows in hot pursuit of her. 
Big Cheese knows about her. This might be a good time to set up that branch office up north. No time to shilly shally. Bring her back right away. Not to worry, you can count on us. Yeah! Hello there, shoppers. It's a beautiful day in Little Tokyo, so we thought we'd celebrate by launching a triple shot to a place I can't tell you because it's secret. Let's see. The fess of the escutcheon divided by the coefficient of the tangential counterweight. Hmm. Wow! We haven't done a three section shot in a long time. Implement! Due to unusual demands on our power plant, today's toad kissing contest has been postponed one half hour. Please be sure your ticket stamps are in your lunchbox, along with a crescent wrench, two jars of orange marmalade, and your shirt size. And don't forget to butter your buzzards. Thank you. The wonders of a technocracy. Here goes. Keep escaping. As the three heroes made their perilous way to their destination, they discussed the significance of their mission. I was thinking maybe when we bring the nanny back to Mount St. Helen, we can see about opening up another pizzeria. How about we diversify into something like oil drilling with a little samurai on the side? We'll need another NEA endowment. <laughs> oh boy, I love these leisurely drives in the country. Reminds me of the What is design. that thing? Wow, gangway, look out, coming through. Full <laughs> zone delivery, yes, sir. I'm quick, all right, Chris, my little name. Meanwhile, back at headquarters. Wonder how I'd look as a brunette. Blonde? Nah. Wow! No! Hi! Huh? Ah! <laughs> Can't you ever hold still? Here's the artwork with an important progress report, Big Cheese. All your bulletins have been delivered as ordered. That's all for now. See you around the campus. Yeah! Come on! Somewhere in the sky over Mount St. Helen, our fearless heroes make their final approach for a graceful touchdown. <laughs> Can we ever remember to wear our parachutes? Help! Help! Huh? Help! Who? Who? What? Where? Where? Me! Here! <laughs> Why are they chasing her? To keep us from getting her. They know the gardeners are fraud. Somebody help her, poor nanny! Poor? <laughs> but what about... I know what you're thinking. The bottom dropped out of the volcanic ash market. Oh. You mean she's broke? Uh -huh. Goodness gracious, help! <laughs> what are we saying? Come on, we got a job to do. Madam, you just won an all-expense paid trip to Little Tokyo, courtesy of Al Dente. That was supposed to be a secret. Oh. Madam, Emperor Fred's title as a monarch is being threatened by a pretender. You must identify Fred as the monarch. Otherwise, the social order could be reduced to I don't know what all. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I can identify him. What? <laughs> it could be a very long walk home. Checkmate! Hiya, hiya, hiya! Just thought you'd like to know, your ruffians are on the way here with Ned the Pea Picker. That is all. Hello, I must be going. <laughs> Effie keeps reporting every little tid, but I won't have a house left by the time I make Chancellor. If you please, Master Cheese, a little patience with the Yardbird. Due to a design defect, he'll explode if he stops moving for more than two seconds. That explains everything, Swell. Well, if that ain't the Pacific Northwest all over, look at that cloud! Yes, Speedy was right. The barometric pressure had dropped like a grand piano from a third floor window. And boy, did it rain. How about flying home? Yeah, I bet you the airports are closed. Even if we had pocket money for the airfare. Hmm. I just figured out how to solve this. You can walk and chew gum? Sure. Remember when the Klimba Hoppers ordered the bubblegum pizza and then changed their mind and I ate the whole thing myself walking back? What about this problem? Pizza cake. We just go upstream and find ourselves a place that's narrow enough to jump. Yep, just another average brilliant idea. <laughs> Big cheese moves 
moves up, geriatric moves up, so I get to move up. I can hardly wait for the trickle down to begin. Hey, Badberg, we got company behind us and they're moving up fast. Look! Ah, that's now who could that be? Three cats and an old lady. You mean the samurai pizza cat and the nanny? That's the nanny! <laughs> Those apprentice ninjas can't do anything right. Take the gardener and head for the palace. We'll delay them. The rest of you, come with me. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Crow Magnon, and my employer's the big cheese. That's just like him, hiring a bright brain. We work for Truth, Justice, and the Best Pizza in Little Tokyo. Now, won't you welcome the Samurai Pizza Cat? I'm Quido. My name is Polyester. I come to the world with love. My many friends call me Speedy. No particular reason. Watch it, villains! Pizza cats, huh? You don't look so tough to us. Let's see what kind of stuff you're made of. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, thanks. Hold it. How about we negotiate for a while? Talk. What's the talk about? Let's talk about some recent findings by our intrepid boys down in research and development. They've come across some utterly fascinating factoids about felines. Holy catfish, you guys. These clowns mean business and they're playing rough. by small movements of harmless items such as this feather. They also display a weakness for the aroma of mackerel fresh from the can. <gasps> no cat can resist the exotic allure of a ball of yarn. And the coupe de grass, a radio playing Barry Manilow glued to the bottom of a card table. <laughs> They're completely helpless in this trend. for a nice Beethoven string quartet to Manilow. Still, three out of four ain't bad, huh? Got that right. Only the power of the pizza eye can save us now. Hey, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know what's come over me. I can't take my eyes off of those things. Don't stare at them, they're a hex. Don't stare at them. Go to the deadly eyes of the legendary catbird. Those bird brains were superstitious. <laughs> <laughs> what are we standing around for? We have a mission to accomplish. <laughs> they must have the gardener and that palanquin, and they've got a big head start. Doing up here already faster! 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 faster. <laughs> Those miserable pizza cats! Arm the palanquin! <laughs> Raffle the gun, eh? What have you done with the rootabaga digger? Much to your chagrin, I'm sure the turnip turner's on his way to headquarters. He'll be made the new emperor, and everyone will prosper, especially me. <gasps> Give it up! The race is over, and Big Cheese won! Yeah. You think the contest is over, eh? Not before I call upon my magical Ginsu sword! Pizza power with extra cheese and a side of eggplant parmesan.
extraordinary measures. Oh, and just when I was going to do my nails. The gang needs your help, Miasma. That's got to mean a ride in the giant blow dryer. I need a, a soil sample. Yeah, a soil sample. Ah, how's a soil sample gonna get us back home? I wore my tunneling suit. Watch. Onward! With Mio's tunneling all the way back to headquarters, the Pizza Cats pursued their mission to save the monarchy, dragging the nanny behind them. But now time was their enemy. A tense hush covered the main hall like a blanket of tapioca. In the absence of a bona fide pretender to the throne, I now declare the challenge null and void. Shoop up! But your highness, we agreed we'd wait till sundown for a challenger to appear before the members of the association. In the interest of fairness to the noble monarchy, we simply must observe the protocol, though heaven knows I have no personal interest in who sits on the throne. Yahoo! What the bigger pretender coming right up! <laughs> Just a boom! Look at that! He's wearing the royal crest. Perhaps we have a new monarch after all. Well, I sort of hate to admit it. I was beginning to enjoy the scat singing. Skilly pop shoo bop, shama lama ding dong, boney maroney and a side of macaroni hoop pop shoo bam. Who can do what? Skittle dee, rag mop jack, shoo bam. Oh, daddy, who ain't shama lama? Get back, mama. At last, Daddy's found someone as fluent as he in his mother tongue! Sumatra! Sinatra! Shabadu! Oh, now what? I have a wide to resolve a small matter! <gasps> I have given up hope! That meddling nanny could ruin everything! I am the nanny who knows her way around! It would appear someone is trying to perpetuate a fraud! Would your grace be so kind as to open his royal robe and we feel his come about? Go away! Yes! It's just as I suspected! in the royal high chair. Hmm. Announce the glad word. The monarchy is preserved and his altitude has a new friend. All hail Emperor Fred. Yay, Emperor Fred. Oh, no. I, 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 I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Yes, sir. It's a beautiful day. A little epoxy will take the starch out of your sails. Uh-oh. Geriatric, you'll pay for this. Pizza power saves the day again! Thank you, Pizza Cats! On the next... Pizza Cats! The peaceful life of the citizens of Little Tokyo is thrown into panic as a rash of disappearances by prominent members of the community is reported in the local newspaper. The latest victim of the dastardly disappearances is a famous Little Tokyo scientist who is an expert in robotic weaponry. Of course, by now you've guessed that the Big Cheese is the mastermind behind the contemptuous kidnappings. His plan is to kidnap all the best scientists Little Tokyo has to offer and force them to build an ultimate weapon of destruction so as to bring the city to its knees. Our heroes get into the act when Big El Dente calls on them to investigate the disappearances and put the citizens of the fair city at ease. We're ready to put everyone at ease, Al. Will Big Cheese succeed in building the ultimate weapon? Will the kidnapped scientists be able to return to their normal lives? Will the writers ever let me stop asking these endless questions? Find out next time in Big Cheese's IQ Corral on the next Samurai Pizza Cats. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet. So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like... Pizza Cats! Right, it's a cat. We 
hoped you liked the show. It's the best that we could do. The low rise beats the gas. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.